on my way back to the Piedmont to work on the property. Well, I wanted to, wanted to show these videos. I got that window knocked out. Um, the guy that helps me, he, he has my generator. So right now I have no electricity over here. I was trying to rip this out so I could get up under that window and uh, fix that. Um, he came a couple of days ago and did the, uh, well, yesterday, did the seal plate up under here. I might have to talk to him and come back, see what they can redo. Um, but he sisted right up under here. It was a bad spot. This was the only bad spot. Uh, cut out that. It's a, it's a hassle because it's um, hardwood and it's wood from 100 years ago. So if you ever worked on homes like this, you know it's uh, the wood is a lot harder. So I'm on my second window trying to beat this storm. Trying to uh, knock out a little bit, but basically this is what the next rental property looks like coming up. Pretty bad, but it won't be like this for long. I'm going to get all the, the joists and the subfloor together. Then I'm going to go from there to the roof uh, on the next journey. But I'm going to try to make this a three bath, uh, no, three bedroom, uh, two baths. So, I mean, it's a little small. It's like a thousand square feet. So it's a bathroom back in that corner. Can't really tell. And this was a laundry room, but I'm a, it's a this wall back here. Uh, I'm going to try to make that a half bath. So it's going to be a laundry room through this door half bath um, and over here full bath so i had to figure out how i'm gonna arrange the rooms i was gonna have this be the master but i'm gonna have this be uh just a bedroom one or two this be another bedroom and then that'd be the master with his own ba uh, bathroom uh, but taking this window out and then probably go to this one or the one that's right around this wall I don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, you see the paneling? Somebody stole my electricity. Ain't no problem though. But that window will be next. I had some visitors keep me company. It's a whole family of wasps up in the hut. Just saw one drop. I don't know if you can see it. It's floating right there where my finger is. They stay over there. They can stay rent free. They come over here. They got to die. Till next time. She wasn't with me back, shooting so in the gym. The store. She been sitting in the truck snacking. And I don't think she brought me back anything. Yeah, that's rough right there. Mm. Uh, so this is my first trip to Lowe's. Uh, where you have to be at least a millionaire to buy anything, it seems like. But um, I really do think... Uh, from looking at the prices of the wood and lumber that the prices of the material have gone down plywood is pretty osb is still pretty high uh, leaving out of there now headed back to my truck to show you the what i call the tank and what we had to haul off uh, we made a couple loads i mean a couple trips and uh, we still had one more i was a little short uh, on some material but everything i bought for day two ended up being like 793 dollars so in all i Probably spend eleven hundred dollars in two days. This is when I came back to the house, uh, seeing what all uh, my handyman had done since I've been gone, and they had done a lot of ripping out. Uh, we had to go up under there with them, and as you can see, it's pretty rough uh, sill plates and stuff like that, and floor joists are so basically rotten and gone, the most part of it. But um, had to help them try to jack up the floor. It's pretty dangerous to try to do, try to attempt this by yourself. As you can see, back of the house is pretty badly damaged, but that's basically how I like my homes. Look like a bomb that rolled off and blew up, blew up in it. So this is coming to conclusion of what we were able to do today. I had to haul off uh, some things coming back to Wilmington, um, North Carolina. So we had to leave a little early, left him to itself. But uh, I promise you it won't look like this when it's done. <laughs>